resign. Joining me now is House Judiciary Committee member, Congressman Ted Liu. Congressman, thank you for joining me. What is your take you, on this bombshell report? Uh, it Beyond is outrageous what, what the Department of Justice it is outrageous what the Department of Justice did. Dictatorships go after critics and seize records of people like journalists and elected officials. We're the United States of America. We should not be doing this. The Trump Department of Justice crossed the line. They violated the separation of powers. And the prosecutors at the Department of Justice who signed off on these subpoenas knowingly violated separation of powers. And I believe they do not understand the structure of the Constitution. And for that reason, they should resign. What guardrails can be put in place to make sure that this doesn't happen again? I, I was just shocked by the fact that it could even they could even do it. We're exploring different ways to resolve this matter. I believe the Attorney General's Bill Barr and Jeff Sessions should testify and that Congress should do an investigation. I'm very pleased the Department of Justice has now ordered an inspector general investigation of this scandal. And I think we should explore legislation because why should the Department of Justice be able to get metadata on anyone without a warrant? No judge was involved here. Basically, prosecutors just went to Apple and said, give us these records. I don't know if that's the way that we should be structuring our law enforcement. And what are the responsibilities of the tech companies like Apple? Uh, you know, they, they handed it over and they did not let the subjects know that they had handed it over until last month. According to the reporting, this happened in 2017 and 2018. That's a very good point. Now, I believe they were also ordered not to disclose what they did. But we need to look at the laws and regulations regarding what companies have to do. And again, in this case, it doesn't appear that there was a judge involved. And so you basically have the executive branch violating separation of powers and taking these actions against a co-equal branch of government. There's also additional reporting that Microsoft also got a similar um, so it may not just be Apple in this case but if as you say there was no judge involved then who has the authority to order a gag order or anybody I mean can the Justice Department just unilaterally say to someone you are illegal you are this is a gag order for you and if you violate it you're in legal jeopardy even though there is no judge involved in that uh, that's a great question that's why there needs to be a congressional investigation we have to get to the bottom of this matter because what happened here was an attempt not only to seize records, but also to intimidate critics of the administration. And it could have a chilling effect on other members of Congress or journalists who want to investigate future administrations for fear that they're going to get their own private data and records seized by the administration. Well, let, let, me, let's, let me just push on that a little bit, because how is it intimidation if no one knew? People know now. A future right. administration and the law is hey they could just secretly try to get your own records and not only even your, your own records records of your family members and what metadata is is it can reveal for example who called you who your family member called and that could be very revealing suppose uh, one of your family members hypothetically called alcoholics anonymous or a porn site uh, or a suicide uh, prevention hotline you could see the administration then trying to use that against you to intimidate you and say, hey, drop your investigation or we're going to release this publicly. There are two things that the, that the DOJ did here, both of them grave. One is to uh, get this information and data on members of Congress. The other part of it is also incredibly grave, which is to go after these reporters and also, uh, you know, put gag orders on the on the attorneys at these publications. Which you, do you think is the most corrosive of those two? Are they, are they equally corrosive? Uh, they are equally corrosive. A free and fair press is critical to our democracy. And in this case, um, look at what happened. The Department of Justice knew for years uh, that this had happened. Only now did they order an special general investigation. Why? Because the press disclosed what happened. Congressman Liu, I want to thank you very much for your time tonight, sir. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Charles.